CoQ10 is a nutrient that has become very popular. In fact, I have a lot of uh, patients who ask me whether they should be taking it and how much they should be taking it. Does it help in heart conditions? Does it help with vitality and, and energy levels? So therefore, today, me, Dr. Ray Sahilian, I'm going to talk about the benefits and side effects and the potential medical uses of this very interesting nutrient. CoQ10 is short for coenzyme Q10. It has been discovered in 1957 at the University of Wisconsin and has been used since that time as a supplement for a number of conditions. Every cell in the body needs energy and so every cell in the body breaks up sugars, fats, amino acids and this is done, the metabolism of this is done in little enclosures in cells called mitochondria and CoQ10 is very important in mitochondria it helps in the electron tra transfer uh, within the cells of the mitochondria and CoQ10 helps in the formation of ATP, adenosine triphosphate and it's very important energy source in, in mitochondria and in the cells. Unfortunately, if you're a vegetarian, you're not going to be getting that much CoQ10 because you, this nutrient is mostly found in meats and fish and maybe a little bit in nuts. Um, most people will have an intake of about two to five milligrams of CoQ10 a day. So therefore, if you're a vegetarian and you're not getting enough, you may need to take a supplement. There's been quite a number of studies with CoQ10 in humans, and most of the studies have focused on its effect on heart failure and uh, using CoQ10 after a heart attack for uh, people who have high cholesterol, for people who have hypertension or diabetes. Let's focus on heart attacks. Uh, there have been a few small studies where CoQ10, when given as a supplement for people who had a heart attack for a few weeks or a few months or a year afterwards, did show improvement in clinical outcomes. There's also been studies in giving, uh, giving CoQ10 for people with heart failure. And again, the studies have been small, but most of them have shown that there has been clinical outcome improvement when people have been given CoQ10 supplements for heart failure. As far as hypertension, perhaps CoQ10 can lower blood pressure a little bit, but it's certainly it's not going to be as effective as other uh, nutrients or uh, blood pressure lowering medications. Now, I believe uh, CoQ10 has a very important role to play in people who are taking cholesterol medications. If you have high cholesterol, most likely your doctor will prescribe to you statin drugs. For instance, some of the product names include Lipitor or Zocor. These drugs do help lower cholesterol levels, but unfortunately, they also lower CoQ10 levels. So if you are taking statin drugs, talk to your doctor and, and ask him or her whether you should be taking CoQ10 uh, as a supplement to replace the loss that the statin drugs are causing. Now, before you take CoQ10, you should know that it does have some side effects, nothing really serious. No major side effects have been found with this nutrient, but um, some of the things you should watch out for include, if you take too high a dosage of CoQ10, you might feel fatigued, restless, and have insomnia. If, you have, if you're too restless and anxious and you're not sleeping well at night, the next day you're gonna be tired. So even though CoQ10 helps increase your energy levels, if you take too much, it's going to be counterproductive. The things, uh, the conditions that CoQ10 will be helpful for include heart disease, heart failure, maybe, maybe hypertension, maybe in diabetics, uh, since it can help uh, improve endothelial function. But mostly uh, CoQ10 is going to be helpful in increasing energy levels for people who have fatigue, particularly fatigue if you've been uh, working out a lot or have a lot of physical uh, endurance, uh, if you're doing a lot of physical activity. And, uh, but be careful on the dosage. On a day-to-day -day basis, keep your dosage to 30 to 50 milligrams a day. I'm very hopeful that in the near future and in the next few years, there's gonna be a lot of studies with CoQ10 and we're gonna find out that this antioxidant nutrient is gonna have an incredible amount of potential and being useful either in treating or preventing a number of medical conditions.